Hey guys, what's up? It's Ijam and welcome back to some more Minecraft. We're actually doing 1.3 pre-release videos today. Crazy, I know. There's so much to be covered. I'm going to try to get it done in five videos. That's the game plan. Uh, so we're going to take our time. These videos might be a little bit longer, but I want to try to cover just absolutely everything. So that way when 1.3 comes out, I'm like, hey, 1.3 is out. And then you guys... You download it and play it like, ooh, 1.3. <laughs> um, so anyways, I have posted the link down below to download this snapshot. All you have to do is go to your Minecraft save folder. Uh, not save folder, but go to your bin. Replace the dot .minecraft in there with, or the jar in there with the one that you downloaded, and you're good to go. Um, so starting off, um, we're going to be covering gameplay. Um and uh, fixes, things like that. Uh, so just general overall kind of Minecraft stuff <laughs> is the best way to explain it. The overall stability in Minecraft and performance, they're trying to improve this for you guys. So uh, what they have done is they've, <coughs> they've reduced uh, CPU and RAM and bandwidth usage. So all this stuff is, they're, they're trying to compress all of this. Um, to get the game to run a lot smoother for you guys. Uh, accelerated chunk loading, so as you're walking in Minecraft, uh, the chunks ahead of you will load faster so you don't have giant holes in the ground. Um, the nether is a lot less laggy now. Uh, there's just so much stuff now. <laughs> um, as you know, uh, a couple updates ago, a couple snapshots ago, we had uh, the server update. Um, so now, single player actually runs on a multiplayer server. Um, it still pauses like single player, but uh, overall, you're still running on single player. It's just uh, it's running on a multiplayer server so they can get feedback, basically, uh, which we will cover in just a second. Um, now, uh, single player options has kind of like a single player commands feel to it. When you go to start a new world, uh, you can do more world options, and there's a lot of different things here. Um, you can do a lot of cheats on and off, things like that. Um, the cheats is basically going to allow you to do like kind of like a single player commands feel where you can do set time zero, things like that to let you change stuff in your world. Obviously, you can still give your uh, give yourself items and things like that. So um, there's also a land option now. Um, when you go here, you can uh, once you've created your world, you can make that uh, open to land. Um, I actually can show you that real fast. Hold on one second. We'll just create just a uh, random world here. Create a building terrain. Ooh, this is the first time I've ever built a world in uh, 1.3. So it might take a little while to load. That was kind of cool that we just like fell right into it though. It's uh, It does run a lot smooth. Not a lot smoother I should say. Uh, we got a giant ravine just right here. Wow, that was a pretty cool seed. But uh, anyways, hitting escape key will open the video or open the world to land. This will allow you for surrounding networks around your house to join your game. This has nothing to do with the outside internet. Nothing like that at all. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go back to title now. And we're still talking about game changes. Man, it's crazy. There's a lot of different chat settings now. A lot of different commands for that. Um... And uh, what I was talking about earlier with the the uh, the anonymous data to Minecraft is actually called Spooner settings. Uh, in your options, you can go to Spooner settings here. All this right here is letting uh, Mojang know what you're doing with Minecraft. This is um, this is all just a kind of basic stuff here. Um, I mean like texture pack resolution, versions, all this stuff is being sent to Minecraft. If you turn this off, um, this won't go to Minecraft on, it will go to Minecraft. So you always want to leave that on just so they can get the, the, the most information they possibly can. We're running at 120 frames per second by the way too, awesome. <laughs> um, so there's also some video options. I could not find the video options though, as you can see in the Spooner settings. Uh, if we go down all the way to um, VSync enabled, I could not find that for some reason. I swear I had saw it somewhere before, but I thought it was in here, but I have no idea. <laughs> um, it might actually be in the world settings, so we could check that, um, but I, I don't think so. It's mostly, for the most part, all the same. Yeah, there's no video settings here besides this, so I don't know exactly what the video, video settings are. Um, uh, another uh, just kind of random gameplay kind of fact is now uh, mobs can spawn on top slabs and upside down stairs. 
So uh, if you have those upside down, uh, you have to worry about the mobs spawning now. Um, and other gameplay changes, F3 got, um, got some updates to it. The graph is not there anymore, as you noticed. Um, and if you notice something with the, if you, if you look up here in kind of your top left corner, you'll notice X, Y, and Z. Uh, y got an update. As you can see, where it's, it says 71. So that um, is our feet. Eyes are at 72. That's pretty cool because it tells us the different levels that we're standing on. <laughs> um, another thing that you want to look at is, um, I don't actually see what they're talking about, but... Um, because I'm trying to trying to figure out because they added some other new little things in here too, but um, I'm actually not seeing it. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay, so uh, I I just looked right past it actually. Um, if you notice right below X Y Z F, there's uh, the little little biomes things like that. The W S stands for walking speed. The F S stands for flying speed. Uh, so that's just a little little fact. Um, if you play Minecraft on a different language, all the language updates, um, they've all, all been updated. Um, so, I mean, that's that's really it for kind of gameplay, like, features, you know? Like, uh, just the basics of the basics. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and start looking at, at actual, like, um, like, what they've added to the game, you know? Like, as in uh, gameplay experience. So the first thing that they've added is that uh, we're going to go ahead and delete this world um, is adventure mode. So adventure mode is, um, is in your gameplay options. You can put it on any one of these you want. Uh, it should be... Where did they put I think you might actually have to change it from inside of the commands. Yeah, only playable using commands. Okay, so that's my bad. So we're going to put it on default and then we're going to put it on creative and then we're going to put it on cheats allowed. Okay. So we're going to create a new world here. I should have just left the old world up, but I don't think I had cheats on. Um, so what you want to do is you want to hit slash uh, GM or game mode, and then you want to put your username in, and then you want to put two. Okay, so maybe it is game mode. Game mode, ijevin2. ijevin is not a valid number. Did I sign in as Belmont? Maybe you don't have to put your uh, name in. I don't know. Like I haven't used this this command in a while. Okay, so we'll do game mode uh, Belmont 06 two. Belmont 06 is not a now valid number. Oh, maybe you actually have to put. Um, maybe you have to put the the game mode first. Yeah, your game mode has been changed. So as you can see, we cannot break any of these blocks. This is um. This is adventure mode. This is going to make making uh, Minecraft maps about a million times easier for map makers. They just seem to find a way to use like uh, interactive like TNT and things like that. The world is still very much interactable, as in levers, doors, things like that are still openable, but the ground, you can't hit the ground. So no matter what map they want to make, you guys can't destroy it now, <laughs> um, which is kind of cool. So um, just don't get the commands mixed up like I did. You just want to do GM1. Um, I still I still haven't gotten it right. That's game mode one, I think. Game mode one. There we go. So now we're in sir, we're in creative. Uh, game mode zero, I think, is survival. Um, okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and uh, move on to a creative inventory. This is the new creative inventory. Um, you can actually see your uh, survival inventory as well. They've uh, kind of separated things uh, according to uh, different different things in the world decorations redstone transportation miscellaneous things like that clicking on search items will allow you to type in and look for your items down here there's a little chest the chest will show you your inventory and I'm still Captain Sparrow <laughs> here's all the food and all the items like that um, so overall the new creative uh, inventory the new GUI is just amazing I like it way better than the old one um, <clears throat> all the enchantments and experience has all been changed. Um, so from now on, instead of, uh, we can go to decorative. I thought bookshelves would really be in decorative, but I guess not. Um, so we'll just go here, grab these. Alright, so now you only need one 5x5 square 
Uh, I'm pretty sure it's 16, 3, 6, 9, 12. Uh, so 16 all together. Uh, get yourself an enchantment table, which would be... I think it would be under miscellaneous. No? Hmm. wonder where it's at, then. Why is it under decorative? I don't know. I think they need to fix that. Um, but anyway, so as you can see, your, your inventory now is... Um, <clears throat> is fully um your your enchantments they're fully uh, acceptable now to level 30 instead of level 50. um you've always been able to enchant in creative mode so we can just look at these but so uh, like i said you don't need you don't need half of this um and now killing monsters is not really the main way to get your enchantment points um smelting in furnaces get you a little bit of enchantment points they nerfed it really bad though um, and then the main way is going to be mining blocks. So say if I switch my game mode to zero, uh, let's go ahead and do that now. Game mode zero. Game mode has been changed to survival. All right, we're going to collect enchantment points from this iron or from anything that drops ore. You notice you won't get it from iron, you won't get it from diamond, you won't get it, or you will get it from diamond, I'm sorry. You won't get it from gold. Uh, anything that drops something that has to be smelted, you won't get it from because you can build those back. So uh, anything that drops kind of um, any sort of, uh, any sort of, um, um, ore, like uh, as in lapis, things like that. You're going to get um, you're going to get new good stuffs. <laughs> it's really the only way I know how to pronounce it. <laughs> the worst pronunciation ever. So, but yeah, the experience and everything has been tr and been basically changed. I mean, uh, so we're gonna go ahead and switch back to creative now. Game mode one. All right. So we're moving right along. We still have so much stuff to talk about. Oh my gosh. Uh, the multiplayer has been proved, improved. Everything there has been fixed. There's so many bug fixes. Like, I'm going to link you guys to the change list for the bug, list, bug lists. And it's, it's, there's just been so much stuff done. Um, so another thing is, uh, the books are writable now. I'm going to go over the books some more once we get to, um, the actual creative, uh, once we get to the new item section. Um, so here is a book. Uh, right clicking on this, um, actually, you need a book and quill, I'm sorry, uh, which we will show you how to craft that in a later video. Uh, this is just right clicking, you can blah 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 bloop, there we go. Um, but uh, now you can actually type inside of books, you can sign it by Jevin uh, or done. So that's another pretty cool thing. Uh, so what we're going to do now is uh, we're actually going to exit this world, uh, start a new world here, go to creative. Uh, world options give me a break see if we can get a NPC village on the first try sometimes we get lucky sometimes we don't either why otherwise I'll just try and find a seed here but I figured we wouldn't get that lucky and actually have spawn right next to one um, but they're actually there's villager trading now if you if you've been living under a rock somewhere and uh, you're like, what's villager trading? Well, we need to find an NPC village before I can actually show you that. I was kind of hoping there might be one over here, but it's not looking like we're going to get very lucky. We did find a spawner, but not the point. <laughs> I need a village. Uh, oh, damn, there's two spawners. Wow. <laughs> not, not just like, okay, you don't, get a, you don't get a village, but you get two spawners. Or Jeb, I'm sorry. I always like to say notch, but... Uh, okay, I will skip forward until I actually find a village. Okay, now that I'm back, I've actually spawned into a village. Where seed for this world is, um, they don't actually show it up there anymore, so if you actually want to know the seed of a world, you type slash seed. Uh, there is the seed for you down below. So, okay, if you want to trade with a villager, uh, according that you, of course that you have the items that he's going to need, you want to right-click, uh, walk up to him and right-click him. So, for this trade, you would give him 20 wool for one emerald. Uh, and you can check around. Uh, everybody's going to be doing something different. Um, okay. Well, most of these are actually kind of the same. Now, if you look... Um, some of these uh, villagers, they will have better trades than others. Um, I'm looking to see if there's actually... There's not a priest. The priest normally has the best one. Uh, but we'll go to the butcher instead over here and see. He's not giving too bad of stuff. Uh, but anyway, so these villagers, when you trade with them... So let's... let's what's he... once he want? Three emerald? Okay, we'll find the emerald. Um, 
surprised they didn't put it in decorative block. I can't ever find anything with this though. That's the only bad thing. Is uh, here we go. So we'll give ourselves some emerald here. So just put this in the block here. Take your item. Once you've traded with these guys, uh, wait a second, and then he's gonna start uh, doing his little thing here, and then you can trade again. They'll hit the little button, and you can give yourself five arrows. So let's pick this. Whoa, buddy, chill out there, champ. Uh, so we'll put that in there and get our five arrows. Wait for him to start doing his little particle thing again. There we go. And uh, the third trade is 10 gravel plus one emerald gets two flint. So the trading is kind of horrible, but nevertheless, there is trading. So if there is an item that they want or you want and they have, there you go. <laughs> I mean, like I said, it's not the best thing in the world, but hey. <laughs> you, I mean, you can't really beat that. So, I mean... Um, let's see, was there anything else that I wanted to talk about? Uh, I think that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you have any questions at all, um, I might not be able to see the comments sometimes because there's a lot of them. But your best bet is to send me a PM on my channel. And I do reply to all of those unless they are just asking for shoutouts because I will never, ever do that. Um, not trying to be rude, but hey. And there's another villa. Damn, what the hell? That's like the fourth one we found in like no time, man. Uh, anyways, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating and help me out. I know you see that over there and you're like, what is that? Oh my god, I gotta know. Don't worry about it. We'll, we'll get to that in a little bit. <laughs> Just keep watching the videos. Now, anyways, this is iJevin. Peace out.